Hey guys and welcome back. Well, it's time for a new Maya 2018 video and today I'm going to show you guys how you can create a gnarl uh, pattern uh, that you commonly see on uh, tools, weapons and so forth. All right, so let's uh, jump in and check it out. Here we go. Okay guys, well, this is what we're going for. This is that effect um, on a uh, something that could be a tool or a weapon. And that said, let's jump into Maya and get started, okay? So we're in uh, Maya, we're gonna start with a polygon cylinder like so, and we're gonna hit E to rotate, hold down J as we do so, like this. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna stretch that out a bit. That looks about right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click at our edge, we're gonna double click on that end edge and here as well, hold down shift as you do that. We're going to go to uh, Edit Mesh and Bevel. Let's set that fraction to 0 0.1 and we'll set the segments to 3. That's about right. Okay, cool. Then we're going to go in to Injured Edge Loop, Option Box, Multiple. We'll set that to 4. We'll add 4 right there and then we're going to switch that to 15. And we're going to do 15 here and 15 here. And let's hit Q on our keyboard. All right. Now, what we want to do is you want to go in. We're going to right click at the edge. We're going to double click on this guy. Oop, not that one, this one. And we're going to do the same with this guy. Hold on Shift, this guy, and that one. And then we're going to go to, um, let's see, let's do Edit Mesh and Bevel. We'll do 0 0.1. And now we're going to go in, we're going to right click at a face, click and shift double click and repeat that for the others. Shift click and shift double click, shift click, shift double click, and shift click and shift double click. Hit control E to extrude and put in minus 0 0.1. There you go, which will give this little Groove there, okay? All right, then we're gonna jump fuse. We're gonna go to this view right here. We're gonna right click, go to face, and we're gonna drag select all of these and shift to drag select all of these. And once those are all selected, we're gonna go in to edit mesh and poke. As we do that, we'll get this pattern. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click and go to vertex, and we're gonna start to drag select those middle rows and those middle rows only, okay? So that one, and I'll try to do that as quickly as I can without missing any. Shouldn't take too long. And then we're gonna move over. We're gonna do these as well. Hold down shift so you don't lose your previous selection. Getting there. All right. And now that we have these, what we're going to do is we're simply going to hit R to scale those out. And initially, we're just going to look at the ones in the middle because they're going to be pushed outside. So we're going to take this one to bring them back to the center. Okay, and that looks all right. Let's see how far they're coming out. That looks pretty cool. Happy with that. So one thing we need to do next is jump back in. We're gonna go into this view right here and I'm gonna right click at a face and they're all selected still. So I'm gonna go to mesh display and harden the edge. And once you do that, you get this nice crisp look, okay? 
Cool, so now we're ready to bring this into Keyshot. What I'll do is I'll uh, right click at a face, drag right click these, these and these. So I can go in, right click assign new material, take a random Lambert, put some color on it, doesn't really matter what. And there we go. Which will allow us to have a color ID mask for Keisha. We're gonna right click at object mode and go to file, export selection. Let's select an FBX and let's call this uh, weapon one FBX. Why not? Let's uh, save that on our desktop and then we'll jump into Keisha. And there we are. We're gonna go to file, import. Let's look at a desktop for weapon one right there. Hit import, there you go. And let's see, we're gonna change the materials, the lighting, the background and so forth. So let's start with our material. We're gonna go into cloth and leather. Let's go to leather, take this black one right here. And then we're gonna double click on it. We're gonna go into textures and tweak that scale. Let's bring that down a bit. Let's zoom in a bit. I don't wanna to be too small, that looks about right. And now I'm gonna click on this guy and we're gonna tweak that. Let's make that kind of a dark red color. That looks fine. And then we need something for our material here. And uh, I wanna do something that has some color to it so let's look for, uh, let's see, we'll take, we'll take, we'll take, we'll take something metal. Let's do, let's try something like this. That looks about right, okay? Then we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna go to our environment and let's see, we'll do an interior and I'll take the one on the bottom here. Let's drag that in. I think that looks good. We'll change the background first. Let's take this white solid. Maybe this one. No, we're gonna go with the white solid. Not sure on the uh, lighting just yet. Let's see what else we got. Want to have something to make it pop. That's not bad. Let's try outdoor. It's a cool thing about Keyshot. You can really quickly have an idea of what it will look like. Still not convinced. Let's do studio. Let's try panel lighting. This is the one I typically like to use. That looks pretty cool. Okay. So let's see, we'll do that. Let's uh, bring that in. And let's go in to our environment, occlusion ground shadows. Let's do ground reflections. Let's go into lighting. We're gonna go with performance mode. And let's see, no we're not. We're gonna go back to custom. I don't wanna lose these settings here, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go back to basic. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna go with global illumination. That's fine. Ground, we don't need caustics. We don't need interior mode. And let's see, let's go to render, render tab, options, max samples is okay. And let's hit render, here we go. All right guys, there you go. There's our uh, final render. You can see that um, the spikes here are quite intense. Uh, this is supposed to be a weapon, but if you want to use it as a pattern, you can make that higher or lower, of course, okay? Well, that said, that is basically it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. And um, if you don't wanna miss out any videos in the future, uh, make sure to subscribe, okay? Well, that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.